Hey, good afternoon. Welcome again to the Kevin Stoda channel. Um, I've been talking to you about health, especially important during this time of stress with 40 million Americans unemployed, uh, with COVID-19, a worry in every corner. And I wanted to share some tips for balanced living. Notice it says balanced living. And this is from New Directions. The uh, these are the ten commandments for reducing stress, or ten tips for combating stress. All right, uh, here are the ten tips, and I want you to think about each one and and um, meditate on it, and to see if you can relax and uh, focus on what's important. Okay, um, the first tip is believe in your ability to cope. Embrace your strengths, remind yourself that you can influence the outcome of life's events. Create action plans to address problems at work and at home. Number two, learn relaxation exercises. Okay, I'll talk to you a bit about that in a later video. Um, for example, try deep breathing visualization and meditation also a hot bath a walk in the park and stretching exercises are also good stress relievers so stretching exercises I was just doing some before I came out number three learn relaxation exercises um, uh, number three excuse me get a grip on guilt guilt robs you of your energy and motivation be realistic about your expectations of yourself at home and on the job. It's neither possible nor desirable It's uh, to try to be a perfect parent or perfect employee. Try your best, but don't say I should or I must be perfect. Number four, talk to a friend. Talking about problems can help you blow off steam and give you the perspective you need to solve problems more easily so I'm gonna spend some time later today calling people I haven't talked to in a while and uh, not just blow off stream but to just find out how they're doing so I don't focus on me right um, number five develop leisure activities practice a craft learn to play a musical instrument or join a community choir or a book club or create a youth YouTube channel like this one. Mm -hmm. Number five, um, I mean number six, uh, I'm confused. Number five is develop leisure activities. Uh, besides practicing craft, learning to play a musical instrument or joining a community choir or book club, you might uh, also um, just find out what your friends like to do and hang out. Social games are important. Number six, uh, I mean social games. For example, my family uh, played on Zoom the other night. My cousins and I, we played uh, Pictionary. Okay, we're going we're gonna to play categories next time. Number six, establish a regular exercise routine. Stress produces chemicals that makes you feel tense. Uh, exercise helps to remove these chemicals from your body. Try to get in at least 20 minutes of aerobic exercise three times a week. Choose a fun exercise you'll enjoy and stick with. So that was number six, establish a regular exercise routine. Number seven, get plenty of rest. Most people need seven or eight hours of sleep at night to feel renewed and refreshed. If you are having trouble sleeping, increase the duration or frequency of your exercise routine. Okay. Uh, Okay, take a warm shower before you go to bed, too. Number eight, uh, eat a balanced diet. Uh, this includes lots of fruits and vegetables in, in your diet. Add calcium in the form of milk, yogurt, and cheese, and two to three servings per day of protein from meat, poultry, fish, dry beans, eggs, or nuts. Use fats, oils, and sweets sparingly. Um, Except for the fats from nuts, I guess. Walnuts are particularly good for us. Um, will you um, also please drink some milk? 
and uh, get some cheese, as it suggests. A lot of us older Americans don't do that. Number nine, improve your communication skills. Learn to ask for help when you need it. Uh, that's an important one. A lot of us are taught to be very independent, and that means not asking for help, but we need to ask for it. Diffuse misunderstandings before they occur by talking things over with your coworkers, spouse, and children. Yeah, talk with your spouse. We all need to work on that. About these things, talk with your children and your coworkers before things can explode, if you have coworkers. If not, uh, projects, people, members in the church, other people you are close to, uh, work them out, especially the communication uh, as you sometimes are feeling down. You need to not come across as abrasive and unfair that people won't want to listen to you. Uh, number 10 is learn to accept and adapt to change. Okay, change is a fact of life. Major work and life changes are common. Whether you welcome or dread these changes, they can all be extremely stressful unless you learn to adjust to them. Take time to recover. Take a deep breath, refocus, and regenerate during a major change such as promotion, relocation, parenthood, divorce, unemployment, or COVID-19. Right. I want to thank you for listening so far, and I'll, I'll point out the following. I've just given you the 10 tips for combating stress. I will summarize them and read them clearly. Number one, believe in your ability to cope. Number two, learn to relax uh, and do exercises. Get a grip on guilt. Number three is get a grip on guilt. Number four, talk to a friend or friends. Number five, develop leisure activities. Number six, establish a regular exercise routine. Number seven, get plenty of rest. Number eight, eat a balanced diet. Number nine, improve your communication skills. That's something I need to work on. Number 10, learn to accept and adapt to change. Again, uh, I appreciate sharing these with you and you're listening. I would appreciate feedback. Again, this, these suggestions come from uh, New Directions. Okay. And uh, this is an article directed at you, Balanced Living. And these are the 10 tips for combating stress. Um, any questions? Any comments? Again, leave it here at uh, Kevin Stoda channel. Uh, I'll try to get back to you. Also, uh, if you want to share suggestions, I'll give you a thumbs up. And I thank you for um, watching. Have a good day, and you know what to do. Follow some tips to reducing your stress today.